Black Beauty. Hmm, it might be the sun or the shade, but I think it's more silver. But we have another Silver Beauty here. First of all, good morning comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back not to the Nivoking, but to Circuit de Spa Francochamps. We have actually quite a lot of spa uh, events this year, GT3RS, some track days. And now we will be having something very super exciting because this is a fun cup. It's a car or a type of race car that I have been introduced to back in 2019 already when I was doing some work with WRT, the producers of this car. I had a passenger lap during the race. That's what they do. Yeah, that's crazy. And also been following the 25 hour races of Spa with Fun Cup when my friends were participating. Lots of kind of different friends, not like in terms of best friends or worst friends, but actually professional drivers, amateur drivers. I know, for example, Adam Christodoulou, the AMG factory driver, drove it and the set is just like absolutely wild and crazy and some other uh, drivers as well anyway ever since it was always more or less a dream of mine to well uh, of course to drive the car to try it out but also drive the 25 hour race and recently I got the invitation from the car owner to say like hey we're doing a spa track day would you like to try it out and maybe if you like it you could join our team for the 25 hours I'm like why not always wanted to now the car has been in production since 97, I believe. So there are multiple iterations of the car. You had one with manual gearbox, you had with sequential gearbox, and this one is actually with pedal shifts. So we can have a look quick inside. The most cool part about it is looking at it's central seating. So you're sitting in the middle of the car monocoque or the top or whatever you want to call it. Well, it's not the top because it's the gauge structure. Uh, you have pedal shifts, you do have three pedals so you can use the clutch to drive away and that's kind of it no ABS no ESC no traction control no nothing according to the class regulations you have to run these Hankook Ventis V12 tires um, you can see pretty much small size brakes because the car weighs only 700 no sorry close to nine uh, close to 800 kilos third attempt is the good one and then we have the engine in the back, which is a basically a Golf GTI engine, but without a turbo, like the older generation one. So it produces 185 horsepower, uh, naturally aspirated, with a mo so without a turbo, but with Motec management system, and it's attached to a set of gearbox, the sequential one with the pedal shifts. And uh, I don't know what else to say, so we'll be doing a couple of test laps. As you can see, you have lots of... Uh, fiberglass the whole shell is fiberglass you have a cute spoiler over there and for the rest wouldn't know what to say so for it's quite challenging to put the cameras inside there so we have like a couple of like facing you will see it as an onboard and later we'll do also a POV lab because it's probably like a quite a unique experience enough talking let's hop in the car see how it's like how it performs against all the other cars on sky limit event strike day uh, but most importantly um, yeah how I like it and maybe we will be end up doing, like I said, 25 hours of spa with it. Who knows? Who knows? Look at that. Carbon fiber exhaust. No, it's an intake. But it looks like an exhaust. Had to make that bad joke of the day. <laughs>
that was lots of fun, especially the second session where we had the POV camera, this uh, fight that we had with GT3 was fun. Like him overtaking us on the straights, we are going a bit faster in the corners. This was massive fun. I mean, it's called Fun Cup at the end of the day. It's, and the way to drive it, literally, no ESC, no traction control, no ABS, but especially no ABS. The car is very sensitive on, on steering inputs. We just found out because of the red flag that we had. <laughs> The tires cooled down and we had like 1.6 bar in the front instead of two usually so it was kind of understeery so oh hello there um it was a bit understeery but i must say if that's my only driver excuse i'll happily take it uh if it's going to be even better driving i think i'm definitely good to go to do the 25 hours because at the end of the day at the end of the day uh, these kinds of races are for fun fun cup yeah and um uh, the team says that they want to go for the podium, so that's always nice, but even then, you know, just like, the thing is, you learn so much with these endurance races, even if you don't manage to get a podium, the amount of driving time that you get, uh, the participation fee, uh, I don't know how many drivers we are, how many drivers are we going to be for the 25 hours? Four. Four. We four. Are four. Other ways, without yeah, yeah. you, we are three. Ah, okay. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's... Uh, I think in the... In the in the night we're doing double sins. Yeah. Or we're doing most of the time double sins. Yeah. We have a look. Okay, that's uh, pretty cool. I must say, uh, the participation costs, like the car, arrive and drive, uh, food, Italian coffee, I've been told, uh, is around uh, slightly below like 10,000 euros. So considering everything, that's the amount you would pay for, you, you would pay more sometimes for a four hour VLN race. So to drive 24 hours in comparison, last year I paid around around 4, 3, 6 or 3, 9 for the C1. So this is double, slightly more than double, uh, but it's also a lot faster. The C1 honestly was really frustrating at certain uh, at certain points. It was just like, uh, it's fun, definitely for the amount of money. And I'm still planning on doing it this year later, uh, but with more people. So we have like eight drivers, so I had just drive like, I don't know, one stint of two hours and uh, go home by. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this, I'm really happy that I've done it. So massive thank you to the team for the invite uh, and uh, for this opportunity and uh, looking forward to be uh, going, doing the, the 25 hours. When is the race? It was in August somewhere, right? No. Uh, July. July uh, 12 to 16. 12 to 6. Uh, oh, yeah. And okay. Races, so. first day, first practice, yeah, practice then and qualifying and stuff. And qualifying all right. Friday. All right. Cool. No, then okay. see you then. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> that was lots of fun. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. I uh, I think you did. You probably did. You always wa you wanted POV videos, and this time we had the ultimate POV with the central seat. It was it was fantastic. So on to much more. See you guys in July. Bye.